Facts about Captain Morgan Prepare to set sail on a voyage through the pirate traditions and adventures of the Caribbean Sea. Today, we reveal the truth behind one of the most famous pirates in history, Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, a name synonymous with spiced rum, traces its origin to a real Welsh gentleman from the 17th century. Sir Henry Morgan, Lieutenant Governor of Jamaica, was known for his daring exploits on the high seas. He was considered the worst pirate of his time. But it wasn't until the introduction of spice bottles that Captain Morgan's name became legendary. In the 17th and 18th centuries, buccaneers were a unique breed of privateer, often punished by the English crown. Funded by England, these legal pirates targeted the Spanish Empire and the Caribbean. Sir Henry Morgan, with his daring and skill, led many raids into the Spanish colonies, amassing great wealth and establishing sugar plantations in Jamaica. By the end of the decade, he commanded a fleet of 36 ships and about 1,800 men. Some text goes here but what about the iconic pirate speech we associate with seafaring villains? Historians may not know exactly how the pirates spoke on their voyages, but the common pirate dialect we recognize today, think arg, ye mate, and the like, can be attributed to the 1950 Disney movie Treasure Island. Actor Robert Newton, in his portrayal of Long John Silver, created the distinctive pirate accent based on his own West Country accent. In 1671, Captain Morgan's raid on Spanish-held Panama City took an unexpected turn. Unbeknownst to him, England had signed a treaty with Spain the previous year. As a result, Morgan's actions angered the Spanish. England arrested him and sent him to London, but much to their surprise, he was greeted as a hero. In 1674, King Charles II knighted him, and Morgan eventually returned to Jamaica to live out the remainder of his days. Even before his death in 1688, stories of Captain Morgan's daring adventures were spread everywhere. Fast forward 250 years, when the Seagram Distillery obtained the recipe for spiced rum from a Jamaican pharmacy in 1944. The infamous Captain Morgan sounded like the perfect name for a liqueur born in the Caribbean. Thus, Captain Morgan's legacy lives on, a testament to the fearless pirates who ruled the waves and the adventurous spirit that still captures our imaginations today.